Hello and welcome. I'm so excited to have you here again. I'm Olu Wakemi and this is 2019 National Common Entrance Exam for Quantitative Aptitude Test. And this is the first question that we were given and um, we're given a series of problems which is based on quantitative reasoning and before we answer the questions we are going to study this given sample which is called sample a uh, we're given two sets here in this sample so we're going to study um how these numbers are uh, related like for instance in the first set let's say this is set a we can see that we have four different numbers positioned in in the four uh, corners of this sh uh, given object okay so the same with the order set let's say this is b and this is c all right so um one thing that i want you to understand first is that in quantitative reasoning uh it is usually um it's, it's a way of testing your skill or knowledge on the arithmetic operations like for the multiplication then we also the division the addition and the subtraction okay so these are the basic four arithmetic operations that you will be tested with and sometimes it may also need you to understand the square and the square root okay so sometimes your knowledge of the square and the square root is being tested all right so let us go to set a here we have two three six nine so how are they related is it that when you add um when you okay let's look at multiplication where you add when you multiply two by three we get six okay so we're going to test that in the order set so that is what you do whatever happens in any in set a must also applies to set b and also applies to set c all right so let us look at set b seven times one gives us seven good so what about set c seven times two gives us what 14 good so we can see that okay that is fine then what of how do we get the number are the bottom that is the nine okay did we have to add all the numbers the other three numbers like three plus two plus six that gives us what did i hear you say 11 good and 11 is more than nine so that is not possible all right so what can you t oh you find out good 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 did you say three plus six gives us nine all right let's test it with the other sets if it is the same then we are right and good to go all right the set b says one plus seven gives us good same two plus 14 gives us 16. all right what about any case whereby if we're not given the number at the top how do you find that out oh did i say three divide so these three will divide six which will give us two good okay let's try the other set one divide seven give us seven then two divides 14 gives us seven so now we know if we don't see any number at all we can manipulate this basic understanding of plus multiply division you can see how we're using the arithmetic uh, pro, um, uh, the arithmetic operations in this particular given set so we're going to see um, the questions now just immediately after this. So now let us take a look at the three different questions. Uh, since we are already know that five times four gives us 20 and remember that was said it is the addition of these two numbers that is four plus 20 that will give us the number at the bottom okay so 4 plus 20 gives us what did i hear you say 24 good so the answer option c is the right answer so it is as simple as that 
All right, so for question two, seven times x, what are we going to multiply seven with that will give us 21? Wow, how do you get that? All right, so we're simply going to divide 21 by seven so that we can get the number here. All right, so 21 divided by seven will give us what? Did I hear you say three? Good, you're correct. So let's check the answer option. Answer option D is the right answer. What about question three? All right, so this what with an unknown number multiplied by 13 that will give us 13. So what is that number that we're going to multiply by 13 that will give us 13? Oh, you already say one. Good. So what is the answer? Answer option E is the right answer. Right, so you can see that is that easy to you can see that it is that easy to be able to figure out. All right, see you in the next question. Bye for now.